Now in the previous lecture we understand how you can create a new tag in the WordPress. Now let's see how you can customize your default WordPress theme. Now there are some situations where you want to customize your site. In that case WordPress provide a customizer. Now to open your theme in the customizer you have two options. You can just simply click on this customize your site or you can just simply head over to appearance and just select the second option from the top customize just click on it and just open your customizer when you click on it this will open a new window of customizer now here, right here you can change different settings of your wordpress blog now let me show you how you can customize it now you can see the active theme on the top here we have an active theme 2020 if you want you can change that using this change button we will see how to change it later but for now, let's see how you can specify site identity to the website. Now, when you click on it, you have an option here, set logo. Now, let's say you want to just hide your site title and instead of specifying the site title, you want to specify your site logo. In that case, you can just simply get rid of the site title from here and just choose your logo here. When you choose your logo, you will see your logo instead of your site title right i'm not going to do that i'm going to just reset all the setting and down here you can see so this is the tagline of your wordpress blog if you want you can get rid of this tagline and just specify the site title alone now just after that down here we have a site icon now when you select your site icon it will appear on the top up here now just after that we have colors here now using these colors you can specify different color to your blog for example, you can specify background color using this option like this and you can also specify header colors. Right? You can also specify header color to your website. Just after that, you also have an option to specify custom color. So when you click on this custom, you can specify custom color to it. Just after that, we have a next setting which is theme options. Now you can see we have a next option which is full text or summary now for example if you want to display your 20 or 30 word you can just choose this summary option but for now i'm going to leave this setting as it is and just move to the cover template now if you want to enable this parallax effect to your wordpress website you can just leave this checkbox as it is i'm going to leave it as it is and move to the next setting which is background image now what if you want to specify background image to your wordpress blog you can choose that from this option. You can just simply click on the select image and specify your image to your WordPress blog. Just after that we have menus which is very important part of your website. You can see here we have a menu on the top right corner. You can change this location as well. You can change this location of this menu or you can create your own menu as well. If you want to create a new menu you can just simply say create new menu. When you click on it, you have an option here, menu name. I'm going to just specify name to my menu, footer menu. And I want to specify the location of this menu. So we have different locations here for this menu. I'm going to just simply choose this footer menu location. So I'm going to check this checkbox and just press next. Now, as you can see here, the site is updated. When you scroll down, just click on this add items now i want to add my home page select my home page this one you can see my site is now updated i can also specify my sample page i can select my first post you can see here my home page my sample page my first post i can also add my categories when i click on this book you can see we have books here right and when i click on my tags i have my tag up here right now now just after that you can see i have my menu on the top and you can also see i have my menu on the bottom as well if you want you can change this location using this menu location setting i'm going to just delete this menu for now let's move on to the next setting which is widgets now let's say if you want to add 
any widgets in your site dynamically you can use these footer widgets now at this point we have three widgets in this footer these are cry categories and meta you can add more than that by clicking on this add a widget button when i click on it i have different widgets here for example let's say i want to add pages in these widgets so i'm going to simply click on these pages so you can see we have a pages section down here and in these pages we have two pages my home page and my sample page if you want you can specify title to these pages for example if i just see here new pages you can see we have title new pages right and you can done the settings now you can see we have a new widget here right now you are not limited to add this widget in the footer you can add widgets to any location depending on your theme now the next one home setting you know that in the settings you just change this static page now let's change this setting and make this website default so for example if i just change this setting to your latest post this will just change the whole website right now this is your default website right you don't have your static page now if you want to specify static page you can just simply click on this for static and specify your home page here now just out of that i'm going to just move to the next setting which is additional css when you click on it you can see here we have some instruction and we have editor here you can create a custom styling to your website for example let's say you want to change this header color of your website using a css then you can simply say here header and just specify style to it to the background so i'm going to just simply see here background and i want to specify light blue color to this header so i'm going to say here light blue this property is not applied to this header because we are overriding the default property that is why we need to first add here important keyword so when you specify important you can see we have a blue background to this header so using this additional editor you can specify any styling to your any html element in your wordpress blog as simple as that right now i hope you understand what is the use of this customizer and how to use it now we will talk about what is widgets and how to use it so widgets are a very helpful tool in wordpress they allow you to arrange the display of the content in your website sidebar such as recent posts and categories you can simply say widgets are the region of your theme where you can insert where you can insert and arrange the content or a custom menus by dragging and dropping available widgets into those corresponding area there are many widgets in wordpress such as recent blog posts categories or a link to your favorite site you can add all those things by dragging and dropping to your sidebar now let's head over to the widgets so you know that where we have this widget setting so let's head over to this appearance and in this appearance we have widgets the third option from the top let's click on it and just open your widgets of your site now if you notice here you can see we have a footer widgets and we also have a footer too right here now if we take a look at your website you can notice we have all these six widgets in the footer area so using these widgets you can drag and drop different widgets in your footer section you are not limited to only put these widgets in the footer you can also add this in the sidebar that depends on theme many widgets offered by wordpress provide drag and drop installation of more advanced functions that normally are available only if you write code directly in your theme files now let's look at few widgets in this theme now as you can see in the footer we have search this is my search widgets you can notice we have recent post and the comment in the widget section if you want you can add more than that now let me show you how you can add pages widgets in this footer area so you can see here we have pages here let's grab it so just click on it and drag and drop inside right here now you can notice by just dragging and dropping you can add a new code in your website now once i have these widgets inside this footer area let me just specify name to it so i'm going to say pages now you can notice we just added a title to this widgets you can also short these widgets by title by page order or by page id 
click on this save button when i save it and open my website let me just open this website on the new tab right here just close this tab now you can see here at the bottom i have this pages section right you can notice by just dragging and dropping i can add a different code in my website i don't have to write any code to it if you want you can just change this name to all pages and when you save it you can see we have all pages here now if you want to move these widgets to the next footer you can do that as well just click on it and drag and drop to the next location save the changes and now you can see when you reload your site you can see you have these all pages down here to the second footer area now many themes offer different areas to add widgets now in this current theme we have only two areas to add these widgets you can notice we have different widgets here we have archives we also can add calendar the custom html we can also add images you can notice we can also add navigation menu in the widgets then we have recent post the rss tag cloud videos audios categories we can add galleries we can also add the meta section where we have a login and rss links and we have pages when you click on it we have two location where i can add these pages the footer one and footer two you can change this location by clicking on this area just after that we have recent post then we have search and then we have text area now if you wanted to add recent post just grab it and drag and drop to the footer section recent post provide a list of most recent posts we have published in our site then we have recent comments recent comments provide a list of most recent comment left on post published to your site just after that we have archives right here you can see we have archives which is provide a list to the monthly archive of the post published to your site then we have categories using these features we can display different categories on our website and then we have a meta section you can notice here we have title to this meta section we can add a title to this meta section using this title now the meta section provide a list of few helpful links such as login and register link of your website now once we know that how to include widgets in the widget location you can remove these widgets as well so let me just remove these all pages so i'm going to click on it and you can notice here we have delete option when you click on this delete this will remove these pages from this location now if you want to add it again just drag and drop these widgets in this location right that's upon you now when we start building our theme you will understand everything about how to add widgets how to add different location to your widgets and many more now once you understand how to add and remove widgets from your theme let's understand how you can choose different themes from the wordpress theme section so i will see you in the next lecture